Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to In Alex's Shook Reaction. And I am super excited because for today's video, it's been a while, we're going to go ahead and do a reaction to ALR's brand new video. Now, this one is actually called She Will Be Here Soon. You know who that's about? Eh, eh. The new girly pop. They fell in love so quickly. We'll talk more about that, of course. Target Hall and bed makeover. I mean, those are not really giving what they are supposed to give. This is a vlog, of course. As I said, Amber has been missing from YouTube for over a week now. She put up this video just a few hours ago. We're going to go ahead and take a look. There has been rumor and speculation abound because she has been constantly posting TikToks. If you would like to hear my analysis on that, you can go back to Sunday night's live stream. I do wonder about these vlogs. So she did take the week off, but... I don't know if this is an up-to-date video. It could be that she wanted to give her that time to kind of film a few vlogs and make sure that she was stocked up so she wouldn't have to film at the last minute because our girl always ends up failing when she gets down to the wire. And that is what causes these breaks. People were saying last week that this new woman, what was her name? Tommy. The reason why Amber wasn't on YouTube was because she was spending time with Tommy. Although this video says she will be here soon, this could have been filmed last week. There also has been a lot of talk about Ozempic. Amber has been very mum when it comes to her weight loss progress. She has dropped several hints that made people think that there is no longer going to be an Ozempic journey, although she has not updated us at all. It is kind of just an open plot point at the time, although myself and others think that it is probably over just based on the signs. So we shall see if she does talk about it in this video. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? I'm kind of excited to see what she has been up to all of this time. I mean, girl, is she even going to address it? Or was this filmed like a couple of days after her last vlog, which was July 4th, because she was watching the fireworks with her mom. I mean, geez, that was a long time ago now. She posted that on the 8th. I think my theory is correct, but we'll see. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So we're going to start off this one with a pretty big Target haul. I mean, girl, why? I want to hear the tea. I want to hear the drama. This is what she does. She just leaves for extended periods of time and then comes back like nothing happened. We see you, girl. And she was doing that every other day thing. I don't know. It feels big to me. So I got she needs that stockpile. But we always know she's going to come back because she needs her Target hauls. She needs her Uber Eats. She needs her Dorid clothes. She needs her Marshall's money. Girl one of these chicken flavor instant She'll be back. lunch ramen thingies. Maru Chan, that's what we're starting off with, girl. The lunch of champions right there. I'm sure she's still on the Ozempic, and this is just working out perfectly fine. Not gonna lie, I mean, a ramen in a pinch, sure, why not? I'm not gonna be, like, showing it off to you guys, though. <laughs> I don't know. It just sounded good. Like, I don't really feel like cooking today. I it don't just sounded good. A chicken ramen. I would get that in college when I had like a dollar and some change. I could get one of those and a bag of chips at the Rite Aid around the corner. I swear to you. Order takeout. And I haven't gone grocery shopping in no a hot take minute. Out. So I don't really have things that like can cultivate like a meal. And then today's Cult actually my mom's boyfriend's birthday. What is wrong with her? Then go to the grocery store. I mean, you took the time to go to Target and tomorrow is his eight-year anniversary of being sober so congrats to him so okay. for his birthday i got him 66 dollars in scratchers and i literally wrapped every single one individually 66 because he's turning 66 scratchers 66 dollars worth of scratchers um because he enjoys them but for his girl. clean sober date i got him some of these chocolates because I got them as a surprise one day at bingo. He had never had it before and then he like became obsessed. So I was like, okay, I know what to get you. I needed some more mascara. I like the Maybelline New York falsies. I mean, she's just putting all the business out there, girl. Who even is this man? Mama Lynn's boyfriend, A. That's kind of nice that they met. Like they always tell you when you go to rehab, 
they tell you it is not a good idea to get with someone who is also who also has an addiction problem. That's something they tell you right then and there. They tell you that. But when it is a co-ed facility, these things happen. Obviously, I mean, men and women together. Heck, I even found a boo. I mean, we didn't meet up till after, but <laughs> you know how it goes. It's one of the best mascaras I've used in a while. I got some Dawn Gentle Clean dish soap in pink, of course. So I've been craving cherries. Oh, I do like the Dawn where you just, you keep it upside down and it just squirts out. Y'all know if you know. Whether they're fresh cherries or the cherries that are in like a jar. My girlfriend actually surprised mm -hmm. me with flowers, mm -hmm. fresh cherries, and I just thought it was like the sweetest thing in the world. I got Who is this woman? Tommy. She surprised her. Was that her real name or just something that Amberlyn's using? I don't even know because it's been so long since I've seen the last video. I can't even remember what was discussed. Okay, so she's got some makeup wipes. But Tommy's already laying it on thick. Is she love bombing already? Mm -mm. Got some more makeup remover, which my favorite is the Neutrogena. It's just easy peasy. My face is super sensitive. And that's like something that actually does not break out my face. I still wonder about the $400 Lego. I mean, that had to be a lie, right? Especially since now we know wifey, or sorry, Valentine was pretty much a con. It's when I use it, so I'm gonna keep using it. So I got some Clorox all-purpose cleaner. Got some of my most favorite lotion. So I like the Cetaphil moisturizing cream. I mean, if you're willing to spend $400 on someone states away, as far as we know, have no intention of moving in with them, but just stringing them along, it just doesn't make sense. None of it makes sense. So that, I would say that probably didn't happen. I mean, she bought it for herself. Valentine, Valentine, Valentine. We'll never know. The mystery woman, the woman behind the mask. I think she was a con. Pink Febreze cherry blossom trash bags. So I really like exfoliating my skin. I have some exfoliating gloves and I wanted some of this Tree Hut watermelon. It is whipped shea body butter. So I'm excited to try this. Like That would be interesting, an exfoliation video full body exfoliation. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? I was just thinking today, I am, I don't want to say proud of Amber because that just sounds weird, but I would have expected her to have just gone like full-time mukbang by now. I mean, foodie did it. It's the easiest route for her to make the most money. She can get the same amount of views or more. She always said that she would get more if she's eating on camera by just ordering something and eating it. That is the easy way out. We saw Hungry Fat Chuck took that way after her weight loss journey. She just couldn't do it anymore. She didn't want to do it anymore. It was too much work to put together those vlogs and people weren't watching. Foodie Beauty, of course. She ate Taco Bell in her live stream today. We'll talk about that maybe in a future video. But it would seem like she might go back to, might go back to mukbanging. She was live twice today. She just said in the last live, I'm not doing lives anymore. <laughs> of course, exactly why no one takes her seriously. I am surprised that Amber didn't just fall right into that same trap because it would be the easiest thing for her to do and still make the money that she needs to live. Like I love Tree Hut, but I've never used this flavor, this scent before. I got some Venus uh, razors. This is usually stuff that I- I'm your Venus. <laughs> I just like don't haul but i'm like you know what let's go for it I this is just like essentials girl i got some crest white toothpaste show us all the stuff you wasted your money on so back in january i stopped using heat to my hair i stopped doing the whole dry shampoo thing show us the what uh like 10 wax melts that you bought that you're gonna throw into the drawer of wax melts now that i can get down with that get down but I've decided I think I might go back to using dry shampoo here and there. I got some deodorant. This is just the Dove carrying co What? She just can't keep up with Tommy. She's got to keep it fresh for Tommy. She can't keep up. It is the summertime, though, so I don't really blame her for bringing back the dry shampoo. Although I don't really use anything like that. I like wash my hair once a week and it's perfect. And coconut and of course i got some of the dry spray as well which is also in dove all right so now i have to put everything away okay guys so i have not been filming lately and yeah okay thank goodness that's over look she's got this outfit on now this can tell us exactly what we need to know which was when this video was filmed because i recognize this 
I do. She did a TikTok video that doesn't say exactly when it was filmed, but it'll give us an idea of the timeline here, girl. Don't think that you are so clever. We know that you are building up that archive so that you don't fall behind. Yup, yup. So she posted that TikTok four days ago. It could be four or five days ago. So I'm going to say Thursday or Friday is when she filmed this video. What's going on, girl? Why so secretive? And yes, I'm currently wearing a crown. I have not actually vlogged Where's in a Tommy? few days. And I just like hop oh. back up on here with a freaking crown on my head and acting like I'm the queen of the world here. And I also do my makeup. Oh, so the first clip, the Target haul, that could have been from like right after um, her previous vlog. So weird. Such a nonsensical storyline she has going on right now. A little different. Like I decided to wear some like eyeshadow. I'm literally wearing like multiple. Where's the Ozem There's an Ozempic sized elephant in the room eyeshadows with like glitter i don't even know girlies but me and tommy have been talking about me why would it be ozempic size that doesn't make sense you get what i mean me and tommy what multiple eyeshadows with like glitter i don't even know girlies but me and tommy have been talking about me making this tiktok where it's obviously billy eilish where it's like you should see me in a crown so it's like a transition so i finally did it and i'm like okay it's kind of really they've been talking about that i mean you should see me in a crown i was listening to that in 2018 girl like get with the program Kind of cute, kind of fun, kind of fresh. I love it. And you guys, literally, speaking of Tommy, if you guys don't know, I'm in a long distance relationship. I'm actually very happy. I am. She's coming. When is she coming, girl? She's so happy. It's the happiest I've ever been. She's so much better than Wifey Valentine and Becky combined. Who's Destiny? Meeting her very soon. When I tell you very soon, I mean literally, She's it's so close. But like, she already seen her by now. By the time you see this. By the time you see this, I might have Ooh. already met her. I'm just like genuinely so happy. Are you right kidding? Now. Really good. And I've been so just like. Are we actually going to get a video with Tommy like in it? Because I kind of have my hopes up because we're getting a first name. Was it a real one? <laughs> At least it's not like Valentine, right? That's so dumb. Or wifey Jade. Everybody knew it was Jade the whole time because of her. Because she le left those little like breadcrumbs and she thinks people are stupid girl it's like distracted and that's why i haven't been filming or anything i'm gonna do better i'm actually thinking about doing a live stream today would actually be a really good day for that oh she never did it though it would be interesting to see a live stream from miss lynn these days okay so i just did a quick rewatch, so i know what i'm talking about or out of bar or whatever it may be like there's failed relationships and successful relationships in any way that you meet somebody is a long distance relationship something i always want to be in no of the tommy segment yes her name is actually tommy i forgot about that in the beginning of the segment she throws valentine right under that bus but you know what she also does i don't blame her for throwing valentine under the bus to be honest because i mean here we are calling her a con so <laughs> lol she did seem like weird right girl you didn't even know her she also called all of her relationships in the past toxic so what makes her think that this one isn't going to be toxic it's it, she did frame it in a similar way to the beginning of the wifey relationship where she was like this is a soft love something i've never had before she's going to be so supportive so yeah it, it's it's giving like wifey vibes i'm getting but also more transparency because she used that first name. So I'm getting my hopes up that she's going to appear on camera and it's not going to be like wifey. That was awful, dude. <laughs> Becky era was iconic. Wifey era had moments, but it was not iconic. Only moments. I mean, who could forget cake gate? Uh, but I have plans soon. If you guys want me to live stream a little bit here and there, definitely let me know. I know that's like very highly requested. I'm gonna take this off my head now, but I know that's like very highly requested. So if it's still for her to go live, maybe after a couple buzz balls. Oh, wait, she doesn't do that anymore. Just the D8. Didn't she admit that she's kind of back doing the D8 um, pretty frequently and that's causing her to get the munchies? It was counteracting her Ozempic, so it wasn't working anymore. Mm -mm -mm. The Ozempic's gone, folks. Is she gonna address that? It's going to be like two weeks from now. What if it was oh, Amber, 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 Amber. She wanted to lose this weight so she could get a new girl. Realized, I don't have to lose any weight to get a new girl. So now it's over. Mm-mm-mm. Something that you guys want to see, definitely let me know. But truly, I'm just LOLing at the fact that I started my day off. Like I do have to say, like watching Amber is a completely different energy than watching Foodie Beauty. Like Foodie Beauty 
it does not look good at all. And even though Amber technically weighs more, well, yeah, she does. <laughs> There's just so much more life there. Is it the few years? They don't have that many years between them. What, Amber's, what is it, like five or six years difference? And Amber just seems so much more alive. So much more alive. While Foodie is like soul draining. <laughs> it's just bleak is the perfect word. I know I use that. Maybe I overuse it. But for Foodie, that's perfect. Bleak. Looking like an actual janitor. Like I mopped my whole apartment. While going to watch Amber, it's kind of like watching a 15-year-old girl. <laughs> and In now I'm today. I'm literally a queen. Like, okay. You guys, I have been like sort of these kind of TikTok BSs that she does. I'm obsessed with purses lately. Yes. Yes, I did. Telephone purse. I did get okay. A phone purse. It's giving Gaga 2010 really Beyonce. And it's actually currently ringing. So, hello. Hello, hello baby. Yes, you this is got. The point of girl world. Yes, a lot of people have an income because of me. <laughs> yes, that is me. Hello. A lot of people have an income. Oh, that's narcissistic. Okay. But for real. Who's just making ALR reactions these days? I feel like most people talk about Foodie Beauty as well. Hello, like, she's so cute. Know. The strap is shorter, yeah, and people. obviously, I'm a larger body, folks. So larger bodies and shorter straps don't always get along very well. Delulu land. So I don't know. Amber will always be my favorite, probably, at this point. I mean, glitter and lasers out of, like, Foodie Beauty, glitter and lasers, Amber. Although she has her hits and misses. This era right now is giving me life because I want to see Tommy. <laughs> oh, if I'd wear it like that, but... It was dragon. It was dragon, girl. It was dragon. All she had was that Ozempic. Now that's gone. She replaced the Ozempic with a woman. Definitely like this is a vibe. Oh my God, it's so cute. But look at this purse I got. Yes. Is she going to be the most supportive girlfriend ever? And then Amber like gains 20 pounds in the year. Like that's her end is plus 20. There is another oh, one. Oh goodness, no. But I got this one like a week ago and I actually just have it set up on my bookshelf. Hold on. If you guys know me, then you know I love a dinosaur. So look how freaking adorable. This is a purse. Like, okay. Is she having like, I feel like she might be spending too much money right now. I don't know. I'm not using this guy. I mean, how many purses do you need? I'll also have it like set up for decor. It's just so cute. Is it just me or has she been buying a lot of stuff lately? That is not necessary. I mean, the Target haul in the beginning, that was like toothpaste and um, dish detergent. Like, that's necessary shit, but... All right, you guys, I'm about to get these nails done. It's been a minute. Here we go. So is my mom. Let's do it my I do it before. Oh, I'm Mama Lynn Cameo. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen one, so I'm, like, excited for it. After. Can you see mine? Yeah. <laughs> I was a little over Amber Lynn. We skipped a few reactions, but now things are starting to heat up again. Okay. <laughs> did you guys see those nails that they have on tiktok you put the sticker on and then you put the uv light on it and then they harden i always see that they're like fake like they're not even real they don't even harden obviously this is professional nail salon is different but this was like tiktok scam we can see my Are you ready i always see those and people are always like, wow, that's so cool. And then there will be other comments that are like, it doesn't work. It's fake. I bought it. I wasted my money. Don't do it, guys. Are they, like, ridiculous? It's, like, too good to be true. <laughs> they're super pretty. Oh, no, they're, they're nice. Uh, yay. Why is Amber just, like, black? What is she, like, emo? Are you, like, emo or something? <laughs> Isn't she wearing, like, all black as well? I like Mama Lens better. How cute. Amber's is plain. Oh, Look at that uh, palace I have. From writing so much. Oh yeah. Oh, She's God, flipping us. I write a lot. Was that like? Did she sneak that in towards the audience? She hates us. Did you guys catch that? She hates us. That reminds me of my friend in like high school. She would always do that. Like she would itch her nose with her. <laughs> they look fake. <laughs> They're beautiful. They yeah, look... these are real nails, folks. <laughs> with just a normal nail polish. It's so Amber did that on purpose. She hates okay, us. Guys, so my mom just left. We. Does she have a Jesus shirt on? Just a normal nail polish. I think so. I used to have a shirt that had like a Twitter logo and it said, who do you follow? I follow Jesus. Okay, get with the program. That's so pretty. Oh my God, I love him. Okay, guys, so my mom just left. We ended up hanging out and we went to get some lunch and then I had to go get more vapes. And then we went to Walmart. Vapes. And 
what kind of vapes? Like, I'm thinking D8. She's taking your mom to the vape shop so she can be so she can be around. Like, te temptations. Mm -mm -mm. I got some new pillows because I, I don't know. She's probably not. I mean, the things that we know, Mama Lynn was on. Let's just put that straight. Like, Mama Lynn, what she was doing. You're not gonna get nothing like that at a vape shop. Be for real. That's something that I've been wanting to do. And she just was over to hang out for a little bit. But I wanted to show you something I got off. That probably do like nothing for her. <laughs> Yikes. Called Amazon, which also came when I got my new purse. But as you guys know, I love a Lego. Art I also really like off brand Legos. So I will do that sometimes as well. Oh, that kind of looks like the art one that they sell through Lego, <laughs> except a lot more inter intricate and a lot bigger well but obviously lego is top notch like modern art. lego mm. is chef's mm -hmm. kiss yeah. and the lego i was doing was uh, the shadow cave the batman shadow cave which valentine got me and i was halfway done with it and doing it me did valentine <gasps> doing it made me sad made me in a very very bad headspace so as much as i love the lego i am not going to be completing it she's not going to finish it the 400 dollars lego that valentine supposedly bought so now what do you guys think i did not expect her to ever address that ever again now I'm like, my headspace. I still don't believe it. But she's really not going to finish it. Eh, I'll take it. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I hate those people that are like, I'll take it. Cheap ass. And I'm getting rid of it. So that's that. And I know nothing about star trenches, whatever that means. But something. She's getting rid of it. Yikes. It was that bad. About Like she's doing the Lego and it's like Valentine, like. Did Valentine even touch it, though? Like, she literally went to lego.com and, like, ordered it. But I guess it's, like, the situation type deal behind it. Like, the meticulous? Is that the word? The meticulous? What was it for? Valentine's Day? Valentine? Like, it all came full circle? Mm-hmm. This of this just looks so fun. So She's a con. I'm about to start that. Yet. We're yes, done. I am. We're and done. it's 1,500 pieces, which is a lot. You guys, please look at how tiny... They're all gray. Like, this is going to take forever. It just feels boring to me. These pieces mm -hmm. are. Wow. Like, itty bitty. Oh my gosh. I mean, it she does... wore an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot torrid bikini. It literally say on the box micro brick. So that explains it. Hey guys, welcome to the next day. I was about to say welcome to a new vlog, but it's definitely not that. Today's just like a productive day. It's like, not... I have tons of new pillows that are still in the packages that I have to take out. Productive day. What have she been doing? So this is three days of nonsense. All we got was what? Tommy's coming soon. Oh, today's the day where I'm actually making over my bed. I've been wanting to do this for mm. months. You guys kind of actually. No, Ozempic though. Y'all feel that? She's not going to address it. We're not done yet, but. Went on that journey with me a little bit when I got my new <sighs> comforter. A lot of people oh, like, don't care about the comforter. Lisa Steve Madden all over the blanket. Oh, like, does it? That's kind of dumb. What? I don't care. It kind of reminds me of like Michael Kors in 2010. Personally, really like Steve Madden things. Like I love um, his work. Is that coming back? I don't know, but I want a man's coach bag. It looks so cute. Like I love his purses, his wallets. And then when I was like, oh my God, like he actually makes the cutest freaking sheets and comforter I that I've ever seen. I really wanted black. And the fact that I was able to find it, I was like, okay. Not only does it come with like pillowcases and sheets and comforter, but it also comes with decorative pillows, which cute. And then I also have cute. this blanket that I got from Target. Matches. I feel like I need to get a new, well, not comforter, but I need to get new sheets because I don't know. I just don't like the ones that I have right now. Plus, um, I don't even use a comforter because it's way too hot. I'm not going to use a comforter right now. I like put my comforter away. And I just use like a fleece blanket and a um, like over sheet, you know, like between the sheet and the blanket. You know what I mean? And I barely use that. Like I'll have it half on, half off because it's hot. Matches the one that I'm obsessed with, my gray one. But I just feel like there's a lot of memories attached to it. So I don't want to like use it all the time. So I got this. Look how cute. It's going to look so good with like the black and the floral. I also have... A ton of clean clothes I need to put away. I'm currently doing laundry. Like, it's just like a whole moment over here. Okay, guys. So here is... Ooh, look. There's a little kitty. Kitty reveal. My bed. What the heck? Oh, okay. There's plenty of room in there for Tommy. What is this guy right here doing? And for some reason, I just never realized oh. it. Because I used to have this bookshelf right here. that was covering it. Anyway. 
Is that the same? I think she got a brand new bed when she moved down here, right? Okay, so I'm loving the color scheme on my remember. bed. It's super cute. I do have this gray blanket down and this one, specifically for my fur babies. I want to know how Becky's doing. I don't know why she, like, never does any videos ever anymore. And then she'll come on, like, out of the blue. I'm not even going to say it. This is their designated spots that they like to sleep and lay. But they have all went rebellious. And they said, this is their world. And I just... I'm just nosy. Beck's not coming back on. Simply live in it. Mm -mm. So, it's I kind of just folks. lay wherever. And I, would be I mainly surprised. only did that because, like... Is that like a Neopet? It's black. There's going to be fur everywhere. But honestly, it's fine. Fur everywhere. And by the way, this right here, this little stuffed animal is actually from a subscriber from when I had a P.O. box. I still have it because I love it so much. I and thought it was a Neopet. Actually goes really good with my color scheme that I got going on. Okay, guys. Hello. So, it is... A Zempic update? It's another day, but I do want to, like, end this vlog. Update. But... Weight gain update. But I feel like we should do, like... So, this is, like, the fourth day. So, she's getting ready to edit this and upload this. This could have been, like, yesterday, dude. It could have been earlier today. Because these are so out of order. She's just going to add questions at the end. Like, come on, Amber, please. This was four days. This could have been last night. This could have been yesterday. What's going on? Her filler's migrating. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Questions of the days because it's been a minute since we've done that. Have absolutely been just okay. like on a whole other different planet. Like truly, I've been taking a little break from the social media. Okay, address that. Is Tommy there yet? And just kind of just enjoying my life. No. Um, a lot of you womp have reached womp. out to me though and you're like... They broke up already. Womp womp. Where are you? Are you okay? And... I feel bad about that. I do want to Are they? I wasn't worried. She was on the TikTok, pumping out the TikToks. If she didn't put up any TikTok and just went radio silent, I probably be, like I wouldn't be worried. I mean, it is what it is, but I, you know people would be thinking like is she okay at that point? I do want to upload this video for you guys. Those two questions. So literally the first one is Amber, are you all right? You have it posted in a week. Yes, I'm actually really really good. Next one, where are you, girl? I Tommy's coming. She's going to get that um, tongue punch. I know. I'm here. I'm just... Is she going to pick the question that's like, what's going on with the Ozempic? On a different planet. Amber Lynn, I'm missing you. Are you uploading to something wrong? I'm you know what would be good if she did like a cliffhanger? The last question is, are you still doing Ozempic? And she was just like, no. And then it faded to black. Girl, come on. I miss you too. And I miss you guys too. I miss filming. I miss all of it. Nothing is wrong. Everything's right, actually. And there's just a lot of things that is like currently going on in my life that you guys will definitely like hear about soon. Someone asked, is she named after my little pony? I think they're talking about Rarity. No, I've actually never seen my little pony. My I little had no pony. idea that there was even a pony named Rarity. Oh yeah, Rarity Gray. Rarity on there until people No, start... Rarity, just Rarity. They're pointing that out to me and I was like, oh, do you think maybe the Delta 8 is making you hungry? Mm -hmm. So I actually got a lot of people saying like maybe some semaglutide wasn't working because like you started doing Delta 8 again. I actually only started smoking Delta 8 again because the semaglutide wasn't working. So it wasn't because of the Delta 8. Buzz balls. What's the percentage? Does that make any sense? She, it stopped working. So she decided to make it worse. How does that make any sense? Wouldn't she start it because she was nauseous? I mean, that path makes sense because ozempic makes you nauseous so you would take something like d8 to alleviate the nausea it didn't work so i decided to take it and then she like cut she's not ready to address the ozempic period point blank percentage of alcohol in it i'm Bishy. pretty sure it's 15 percent, which Bishy. is pretty high for a drink like that okay so this is the last one amber do you know bpd means borderline personality disorder not bipolar disorder that is correct mm -mm -mm. it's kind of a silly question i was diagnosed with bpd so i definitely know what it is anyways i am gonna go now i don't have a youtube schedule right now i don't want to it just it just seemed like she wanted to get through that as fast as possible make any promises of when i'm gonna be back but i will be back i love you guys and just know that i'm doing really good and i hope you guys are too weird we'll weird you weird Bye. all right you guys that's gonna be it for today's video there you have it alr's return interesting more interesting what's going on behind the scenes than what's actually going on on camera but that's typically how it goes with alr right what's going on with this tommy woman will we see her in an upcoming vlog something to look out for as amber says it's not as toxic as her previous relationships. Ozempic, has it left the chat completely? The way that she cut off that last question, it looked like she did say more, but wasn't ready to divulge and put it online. I think the Ozempic's done, guys. That didn't even make any sense. I took it because it wasn't working.
what? It will be interesting to see where things go next. I did also find that tidbit of her not wanting to do the Lego anymore because Valentine sent it. It's like tainted with all of her toxic energy. Ugh. That was something else. Let me know what you guys thought about this one in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>